The Aquariums of Pyongyang, Ten Years in the North Korean Gulag, by Kong Kol Hwan is a deeply moving memoir that offers a harrowing account of the author's ten-year imprisonment in a North Korean labor camp. Through his personal experiences, Kong provides a rare and chilling glimpse into the oppressive regime of North Korea and the inhuman conditions endured by its prisoners. The book begins with Kang's childhood in Pyongyang, where he belonged to an elite family. However, due to his grandfather's supposed association with the Japanese occupation, the entire family is suddenly arrested and sent to Yodok, a notorious labor camp. Kong vividly describes the shocking transition from a privileged life to the grueling reality of the camp. The title itself, The Aquariums of Pyongyang, symbolizes the contrast between the sparkling, controlled environment of the aquariums Kong enjoyed as a child and the suffocating, controlled environment of the labor camp. Throughout the memoir, Kong meticulously details the daily hardships he and his family face, including forced labor, constant surveillance, and ideological indoctrination. The prisoners are subjected to physical and psychological torture, as well as frequent public executions meant to instill fear and obedience. Kang's descriptions of the labor camp's brutal conditions, scarcity of food, and lack of medical care paint a bleak picture of life under the North Korean regime. In addition to depicting the suffering and cruelty within the camp, Kong explores the complex web of power dynamics that govern the prisoners' lives. He reveals the hierarchical structure of the camp, with informants rewarded by the authorities for reporting on their fellow inmates. This constant atmosphere of suspicion and betrayal leads to deep-seated mistrust and paranoia among the prisoners, making unity and resistance nearly impossible. Despite the pervasive darkness, Khan also reveals glimpses of hope and humanity. He describes the small acts of kindness and solidarity that occur within the camp, demonstrating the resilience and indomitable spirit of the human soul. Kang's unwavering determination to survive and his eventual escape from the camp highlight the power of the human will to resist oppression. Through the Aquariums of Pyongyang, Kong not only offers a personal account of his own suffering but also sheds light on the larger human rights crisis in North Korea. The memoir exposes the shocking reality of a regime that denies basic human dignity and suppresses any form of dissent. Kang's courageous decision to share his story serves as a powerful indictment against the atrocities committed by the North Korean government. In terms of style, Kang's prose is straightforward and matter-of-fact, reflecting the harsh realities he experienced. His narrative is devoid of any embellishments or melodrama, making the atrocities he describes all the more chilling. The straightforward style also adds to the credibility of his account, as he presents the facts as he remembers them, without romanticizing or exaggerating his experiences. The Aquariums of Pyongyang, Ten Years in the North Korean Gulag, is a compelling and important memoir that sheds light on a hidden world of suffering and oppression. Through his first-hand account, Kong Kol Hwan invites readers to confront the horrors of the North Korean regime and challenges us to take action against such human rights abuses. This memoir stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and a call for justice and change in a country still shrouded in darkness.